All right, I'm back with the Spiderco Positron, and I'm going to start out the mods with um, shaving out some of this to get better access to this hole. So I can better thumb flick it out, and also to get the lock bar. So um, it's going to be right in here. I'm going to start here and come up so I have my rotary tool here so let's give it a try actually before I do I'm gonna think I might mark um, with the sharpie where I'm gonna be at so let me get a sharpie real quick all right I have my sharpie so I'm gonna mark where I think I need to start sanding right there and then come up to here so that'll give me a kind of like a guide where I need to be at get a mask on real quick okay got a mask All right, I'm gonna go a little bit more. Oh yeah, that puts the hole really good. That's like a no, no miss right there. And then it gives you, gives you that extra little bit that you need to get in there. So, oh, and the deeper choil actually feels better with the ergos. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so next. Um, I'm undecided about the, uh, finger choil, so I think I'm going to hold off on that, um, but I will be taking it down and, uh, bronzing the hardware and dyeing the scales. Real quick, something I'm going to do is, um, rub this with some 2000 grip, uh, sandpaper that I have. See if it refines it a little bit more. It's smoothing it out, but it's turning it a uh, green color. But that shouldn't matter because I'll be um, I'll be dying this this red. So whatever this green color is that's showing. Maybe that's the natural. Maybe that's the natural G10 coming through. I'm not sure. It did smooth it out though, but all this will be dyed. Um, so yeah. All right, now I'm going to take it down so I can bronze the hardware.
the um, screws came out really good, so there's no Loctite on here, so that's good. And bigger ones are T8. That had a little Loctite on it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Alright, I'm either missing a screw or something's wrong here. I'll try to take it out this side. There it comes. Alright, so we got a lot of oil in here. Clean that up. So these will be going to get dyed. And let me wipe this down. That's a full um, liner inside here, so that's pretty tough. Mm. Let's try. He's gonna come out. screwdriver and a cloth here and pry it open a little. They're on here very tight. There it goes. All right. And this is stainless steel and you can see it's the wash or the bearings are making a track in it already. And they looks like they blasted this, but they covered this to make it bare still, so that's good. Um So these wouldn't have any problems with a, with the like the other flippers that Spyderco has because it's all it's a stainless steel um, liner right there. And here are the ball bearings. They're very small. Very small, yeah. Smaller than the other one other ones that I've seen. And then the back spacer. Okay, the backspacer will be getting dyed also. Okay. And then there's the other bearing. Pivot. Stop pin. Oh, 
Oh, this screw, I forgot. Wow, that's like a free uh, floating barrel right there. Interesting. All right, here's the blade. The blade has washers inside of it. Wow. And the blade has those thin spider girl washers. Wow. I've never seen that before. So the blade has washers, but the other side, this doesn't seem like it is necessary at all. That is very odd. Very, very odd. Never seen that. I mean, why not just let it run on the, the the blade itself? And they're those thin washers that can bend. Like, come on, Spider Girl. And they're already kind of concaved in. I don't know if you can probably can't see that. That's very strange. Very, very, very strange. Anyway, I'll leave the blade alone. And I'll gather up the screws and we will bronze them. So let me get some pliers here. All right, I got my thing and let's see how, remember how to start this. There we go. All right, my torch is on. Let me get a screw here. Thank you. And let's watch it turn. Trying to focus it in for you guys. That's pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, next one. You might not be able to see these colors change, but when I get it, um, when I get it against the red, I'm gonna dye these scales red. So once I, when I get it against the red, it should pop out. Looks pretty good. And the pocket clip, clip. I'm just gonna use another one that I that I tried to do before. Um, these pocket clips, the wire clips, they don't really change um, really at all, but these these nuts do though. They, um, they change a nice color. Yeah, that looks good. And got to be careful because the tip of this thing is really hot, so... Looks good. Okay. I think the um, pivot and the hole for the clip are the same size bolts, so putting it back together, I might not need to worry about it that much. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. That looks good. And we got some...
Oh, that's a screw I forgot to take out. But it's okay. Okay, looks good. Yeah, because this knife is also strange that it doesn't um, have... It has screws coming in both ways. Um, normally, one of the sides is a rivet looking thing. Sorry, this one's not focused in. Yeah, it looks good. And I believe that is it. Let's see. Make sure all these. Yep. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, this. Look at how small that catches on the other side. Right there. Very very small. To catch the uh, tang of the blade right there. So let me take this off. It's probably got a lot of oil. Yeah. I don't know why they put some, all this oil on scales like that. Alright, so this scale will also be set aside to be dyed. And wipe this guy off. Yeah, when I saw that there wasn't, this was plain steel, I was like, oh good. But um, then I saw little washers on the blade tang. Very weird. But this is heavily skeletonized to keep the weight down, so very light knife. Um... This is the pocket clip that's going to go on, so I'll just take, I'll just swap them out now. And put the new one on my chaparral, since it'll look better on there. Okay, that will go with these. See the difference, but this doesn't really bron bronze like the screws. It just um, gets dull. But let me show you what the screws kind of look like next to something shiny so you can kind of see that they are darkened and like that will come in more when uh when the uh when it's against a red color so let's put this back on here Looks pretty good. Alright, good. So that's tightened back on there. So that looks better. And then the bronzed one or the dull one will go on the, the other knife. Alright, so next step is the die job. And I think that was about it. Yeah. Alright, see you guys in a little bit.